On Western Australia's Ningaloo Reef, underwater speakers are mimicking the sounds of a healthy reef environment. The Australian Institute of Marine Science has recorded these sounds to see if attracting fish will increase coral growth. If our ears could work underwater, we'd realise that reefs are actually quite noisy places. Lots of pops and cracks, you know, from uh, shrimps and all sorts of things. In fact, sounds a bit like bacon frying in a pan. Meanwhile in central Queensland, baby corals spawned in laboratories are placed by hand onto the reefs surrounding the Keppel Islands. We breed corals and have them settle onto these plugs. We can then put them in here um, and deploy this onto the reef. The structures potentially protecting coral from fish and algae overgrowth. We are working with are these fragile but very important species and, and really trying to understand how we can assist them and help them. The project spanned two oceans and combined research in coral reef reseeding with healthy reef sounds to attract fish and improve the resilience of the reef. It's a partnership with Wapaburra traditional owners creating employment pathways in aquaculture. When it comes to traditional people and Wapaburra, we just can't move house and go somewhere else. So if our land and our reefs get destroyed, that's the end of our country. So we really have to try and work together with everybody. Researchers say in the future, these methods could be used to restore reefs around the world. Jasmine Hines, ABC News, Keppel Island.